So the big question, as Kate mentioned, will Netherlands become the latest domino to fall in the wave of populism that's spreading across Europe? We explored the implications earlier with Daphne Halikiopoulou. She's an associate professor at the University of Reading in the United Kingdom. I definitely think that there is a trend towards the rise of far-right populism across Europe. We saw this in the 2014 European Parliament elections. We've seen it from, you know, the south, Greece, to the north, Scandinavia. We're now seeing it in the Netherlands. Economics uh, obviously plays a very important role. And this all, let's not forget, started or it became exacerbated when the Eurozone crisis erupted in 2008. So after that, we've had the rise of many far-right parties, starting with Greece, where, you know, the neo-Nazi Golden Dawn entered the parliament in 2012, and we're seeing it elsewhere across Europe. However, there are also many countries that have experienced economic crisis that haven't really seen the rise of the far-right. For example, Spain, or Portugal, or Ireland. So I would say that while economic malaise, if you like, you know, while economic troubles play a role to an extent, it's, it's more about crisis management, about economic management and economic policies, you know, how the incumbent reacts rather than economic crisis per se. We shouldn't forget that the Netherlands actually, in that way, is a bit of an odd one out. They have fairly low unemployment rates, the economy is fairly strong, and yet Gerd Wilders is not a new phenomenon. You know, in fact, this all started in the late 1990s with Pim Fortuyn, who did really well in a context of a fairly well-functioning economy and not many changes in migration patterns.